Well, hello guys, this is me, Christian again, and oh boy, do we got ourselves a great update or what for War Robots here. So anyways, yeah, here's all the stuff here, and if any of you guys have not subscribed to my channel, consider doing so guys. And yeah, so we got a new event, will be called, um, Gantar's Fortune Palace. And then the new robot we got is the Crisis robot here. It has constant stealth. Yikes. Ooh, wait. I think, yeah. It's similar to Loki, right? I mean, except the only difference with the robot, like, the sizing of it is a lot more bigger. But, like, I've seen some details about how this robot runs, basically, guys. So... Basically, here's how it works, like, as far as I know, you bas basically, after a certain amount of time, the, the Crisis Robot will end up going right in the stealth ability, basically, here, and then over time, basically, well, yeah, but... The thing is, you can't expect to attack. Well, you can attack, but guess what? If you decide to attack, you automatically come out of your stealth mode, basically. So you gotta give it a few seconds of not firing, and then it'll automatically put that robot in stealth mode. Then we got the new Titan, the Rook, the Titan Rook here. A good Titan, I think, here, as far as I know. Then we got... New Titan weapons, the Aragon and the Oxy here. For Titan weapons, of course. For the normal rep weapons for the robots here, we got Reaper. And then we... Yeah, so basically, Pierce of any protection. New types of robots and weapons. Ultimate Edition, Orkin. And Spectre's coming back. Oh, brother, this is terrifying here. Well, I guess we're about to see how well this amazing update comes in, like, about a week or so from now. Yeah, like, not really everything else has been quite up to date. Yeah, but, however, on the other hand, guys, we will, listively, I guess, we will see, like, what kind of new music War Robots has in store? Ooh, looks like some sort of something from the casinos. The, trying to be gamblers here. Yikes. <laughs> Registered 21 or over. Yeah, so anyways, let's get ourselves to go right in. Okay, yeah, it's just a normal soundtrack, I guess. Well, bravo, I guess. There's not really gonna be a whole lot exciting to this adventure, so you know what? Just basically end this video around now, I guess, guys. But maybe, just maybe, I'll go ahead and I'll search to see if they have the ultimate weapons here, guys. And if they don't, I'm going to end it here or so. So, yeah, whatever, right? So, yeah, no, they don't quite got the, the versions yet, as of yet. But, in case you're wondering, guys, the Spectre, right? And the Orkin weapons. Yeah, even though they're going to be evolved versions sooner or later, but, however, right? Is it in any cases... Are we going to get a much more upgraded version of the so-called things? Well, let me quickly answer that question for you. No, not really. Like, oh no, this is going to be so terrible. Because after once you get your Spectre to MK3, if you want to get your hands possibly on the Ultimate Spectre, same idea with the Orkins, if they're MK3 also, and if you want to get the Ultimate Orkins, then you're going to have to literally reset your whole progress, which I so hate that, by the way. That will be very stupid. So it's either the choice you can 
keep continuing to upgrade the original Orkin weapons or get a nearby much more powerful version which I think it's 20% or 30% more powerful than like yeah, with the ultimate versions is like 30 or 20% more powerful than the originals and of course that would be 20 to 30 percent more defense for the specter like as in health and maybe more speed too all right so yeah like it's good like having these new things like having they're not really new but they are getting their nearest upgrades here which you'll have to literally sacrifice your well you'll still get to keep i guess the the Spectre and the Orkin, but they'll come separate. And that really sucks right there. From from replacing your old current, like, for example, level 7 Spectre, or, or even if it's like MK2 level 2, right? To just a new, brand new, born, ultimate Spectre level 1. How ridiculous, Pixonic. Not gonna lie, it, it did... It did a very good job of adding this, and I, I like some beneficial parts to it. Just the only part I didn't like was the... yeah. But, I guess in a matter of a way of the, the economy, it makes sense this way, or whatever. So, we'll get to really see them for ourselves once everything fully loads in with the updates and stuff like that. And so, yeah. Anyways, I'm finally wrapping up this video now, so yeah, Christian signing off, bye-bye guys.